Hemp cord is used in this project because it's strong, acid-free, and easy to work with. The thickest cord will split easily into three pieces for easier sewing and handling. If you're making more than one book, the handmade hole marker will standardize the locations of the sewing holes. You may prefer sewing holes that are half an inch from the end for a tighter book, but for the darkling, one inch end holes were used to create more space for inserting a metal straight edge when trimming the end papers. Three evenly spaced saw holes are sufficient for a book that has a height of eight and a half inches. Line up and mark your holes on one of the signatures. Line up and tighten the rest of the signatures in order to mark them with a straight edge. A simple wood saw with a straight edge is sufficient to cut the three center saw holes. About 44 strokes should do the job. After the final hole is cut, a piece of trimmed hemp will ensure there's enough space in each of the grooves. Once the sawing is done, you can square up each signature, punch the end holes, that way your sewing holes will all be in alignment. Tie your three pieces of hemp onto the sewing frame bar. Insert the free ends of the hemp through the sewing frame hole and tighten them to the bottom of the sewing frame. It's easy enough to calculate the amount of thread you're going to need by multiplying the height of the book by the number of signatures and adding one more signature length to accommodate any of the slack. This is a lot easier than running out of thread and having to tie on a new piece while you're in the middle of sewing all the signatures. If you're using pre-waxed linen thread, you won't need the next step. The sewing job can be made a lot easier by taking the unbleached, unwaxed thread and pulling it twice through a bar of beeswax. Tie a sufficiently large knot at the end of the thread so that it won't pull through the signature after you've finished your first pass. Now you're ready to start sewing. <laughs>